What's happening guys, Nate here. Today we're talking about three tips that's gonna help your slice backhand. Now this isn't a comprehensive video, we're not sharing every single tip. I'm just sharing some ideas from my experience working with students and things that they face that kind of derails the productivity of the slice backhand. So let's jump right into it. One of the things I see the most is players trying to slice their backhand without a fixed wrist. So what I'm referring to is obviously you need the continental grip, a variation of the continental, but it needs to be continental. And what I mean fix is when the racket is taken back, the wrist will load. All right, and I think a lot of us know this, and this actually automatically happens when we take the racket back with the dominant hand. Now, whether the racket goes outside of D-line and it gets here or here, that's, that's personal preference. Taking the racket further back obviously lengthens the lever, so it's gonna be more advantageous to create more bite. But the main thing that we're focusing on here is the roll of the wrist. So as I'm taking the racket back, the, the wrist becomes fixed, but the thing is it stays fixed. So meaning that as I work to make contact with the ball, you'll see my wrist has not deviated. I'm not going neutral. Right? And I think sometimes people are trying to hit the slice with the neutral wrist and it, it, they end up getting under the ball and it ends up being really kind of flimsy, not enough contact through the ball. And a lot of times the slice floats, right? We'll see that when the wrist doesn't stay fixed. So be mindful of this and also be mindful of what your non-dominant hand is doing. Make sure it's up on the throat and you really take the hands back to the ear in order to keep this wrist fixed in this position. All right, tip number two is about the position of your arm. A lot of players try to slice with the arm entirely straight throughout the stroke, and this is actually more acceptable. We see Dominic team, we recently worked with a student that preferred this method. Um, but the one that really gets us is, the one that gives us the most problems is when the arm is bent throughout the duration of the stroke. If my elbow stays bent throughout the duration of the stroke, what ends up happening is that I over rotate and I open up too early. So let's simplify it. The way that you can think about it is that the arm is bent and then simply through the remainder of the stroke, it straightens out, all right? So from here, as I, as I drive the racket forward, my elbow will straight, so it's as if I'm driving the butt cap down, and the arm will main, remain straight throughout the duration of the stroke. Don't allow the arm to re-bend at the end. We see that quite a bit too. There can be a bunch of different funky finishes if the arm bends. Now, just a note, a little extra bonus here, contact is going to be closer to your body on a slice, all right? So if you're way out here, something has happened. You don't want the contact point to be way out here. You want the contact to be a little bit closer to you than you would an ordinary shot, say off the forehand or a backhand drive. All right, the third and final tip is finish in a U. All right, this goes back and kind of ties on to tip number two. When you're working through the slice, if you watch the racket as it drives down, it's going to finish in this U shape. Butt cap up, point it towards the sky, racket tip down. Now there are some variations. I myself a lot of times will find that I finish here if I'm trying to kind of fade the slice or kind of play with the spin, but we want to get in a habit of finishing here to really get that big bite and to make sure that we're not floating the slice. We see this quite a bit with the Federer slice, the Francis Tiafo, and so forth. All right guys, so put these three tips together. Make sure you're slicing with that fixed wrist. Make sure that you're starting with your elbow bent and as the racket moves out to contact, it stays straight, so bent then straight. And finally, finish with the U. If you found these three tips helpful, give us some feedback. Throw some comments in the comment section and share this with a friend that you think it may help. 
it helps us absolutely a ton. And if you're looking for some friends to play tennis with, check out the player court platform. That's exactly what we do. We help you find players in your area. We can even pair you with the pro to teach you how to hit this backhand slice. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.